Hey everyone, it's Patrick. Thank you so much for giving our last yoga video over 200 likes in under two days. That was amazing. In honor of your efforts, here is a bonus yoga video. Remember, our normally scheduled yoga video will be coming out tomorrow. That is Tuesday in the morning, so make sure to check out for that as well. Additionally, we have a new food video coming out on Wednesday and a new video blog coming out on Thursday. I hope to see you soon. Let's get right into this practice. Start finding your way on the hands and knees. Press actively into your palms. Reach through the thumbs towards the top of the mat. And then go ahead and sway some space into the wrist, just a little bit forwards and backwards. Very common when we're doing any sort of practice with the hands uh, being on the ground, with that being an emphasis for our efforts. We want to wake up the wrists a little bit. So make sure you take a few moments here, really connecting your breath and your movement. And additionally, just swaying some space and then opening up the wrists. Sometimes from whatever we do in our daily lives, they can get a bit stiff. And so we want to make sure that that's nice and prepared for the practice. Go ahead and tuck the toes under. Find a nice stagnant position with the shoulders over the wrists and lift the knees off the ground, holding for just five, four, three, two, one. Press actively into the left toes, extend the right leg back long behind you. The front of your left leg will really be waking up here. It'll probably be talking to you just a little bit. So try and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Set the right toes back where they came from. Press into the right toes, lift the left leg up. And notice how my right knee is so low to the ground. It's going to be an inch to a half inch away. The lower it is, the more your leg will be really firing to create this work. So be here for five, four, three, two. And once at the left toes back and find your way, sweeping right back to your downward facing dog. So obviously in this class, we're going to be doing a lot of work on the arms, but it's always good to get the legs firing a little bit in the beginning of the process. They help warm up the body quite a bit. Inhale, roll forward to your plank pose. And then exhale, lower to chaturanga. Hold chaturanga for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, rise the plank. Inhale, hold the plank. Exhale, drop the knees to the floor, sit the hips back, drop the forearms to the floor. Inhale, sweep forward, upward facing dog. And exhale, sweep your way back to downward facing dog. We're gonna do that three more times here. So inhale, roll forward to your plank pose. Exhale, lower to chaturanga, holding for five, four, three, two, one, exhale, rise the plank. Inhale, hold at the top of the plank. Exhale, knees drop, hips sit back, forearms lower. Inhale, sweep forward, upward facing dog. And exhale, roll right back to downward facing dog. Get active in the hands, really making sure they're feeling connected to your mat, to the floor, to whatever your point of effort is. Inhale, roll forward to plank pose again. Exhale, lower to chaturanga, holding for five. Four, keep the shoulders to the height of the elbows. Roll the shoulders back towards the tailbone just a little bit. Keep elevating the belly button. Three, two, one. Exhale, rise the plank. Inhale, hold the plank. Exhale, knees drop to the floor, hips sit back. Forearms lower. Inhale, sweep forward to upward facing dog. And exhale, roll all the way back to your downward facing dog. The arms have been such the emphasis of the practice so far. We're gonna keep that theme going. Look long, lift heels, bend knees. The exhale floats you up to the top of the mat, or you can walk your way there, it does not matter. When the feet land, you halfway lift on an inhale, and exhale, fold. Inhale to rise all the way up, reach the arms to the sky, and then exhale, bring the hands to the heart center. Inhale, reach the arms back, and exhale, fold down. When the hands come to the floor, inhale to halfway lift, Exhale, hands to the floor, step the left foot back long, then step the right foot back long. Press into the left hand, roll to the outer edge of the left foot, and reach the right arm up to the sky. Finding that nice side plank action. Holding here for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, bring the right hand to the floor, roll to the outer edge of the right foot, reach the left hand up to the sky. Holding for five, four, three, two, one, exhale, left hand to the floor, inhale at the top of the plank, 
Exhale, lower to Chaturanga. Holding there for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, rise the plank. Inhale, the top of the plank. Exhale, knees drop to floor, hips sit back, forearms lower. Inhale, sweep forward to the upward facing dog. And exhale, roll back to the downward facing dog. Press into the palms, look long, lift heels, bend knees. Walk, float, fly to top of the mat. Really trying to keep the rhythm going. Even though we're taking the time to do the strengthening, inhale to halfway lift. And exhale to fold. Inhale to rise up, grow tall, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands down to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step the right foot back long this time. Then step the left foot back, finding your plank. Roll to the outer edge of the right foot. Reach the left hand up to the sky. Holding for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, left hand to the floor. Roll to the outer edge of the left foot. Reach the right arm up to the sky. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, right hand down to the floor. Inhale at the top of the plank. Exhale, lower to Chaturanga. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, rise the plank. Inhale, hold up top. Exhale, knees drop, hips sit back, forearms lower. Inhale, sweep forward to upward facing dog. And exhale, roll right back to downward facing dog. No pause when you find your down dog. Just look right forward, lift the heels, bend the knees, walk, float or fly to the top of the mat. Even if it's a quick hop, when the feet land, you halfway lift. And exhale to fold. Inhale to rise all the way up. Reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, fold down to the floor. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat. This time, step or float back right into your chaturanga. And hold it there for five, four, three, two, one. In. Exhale, rise to plank. Inhale, hold up top. Exhale, lower down. Holding the low push-up position. Feeling your whole body integrated here. Don't forget to breathe. It's so easy to lose focus. To feel your muscles stressing themselves out. And forget that you need the life force of your breath to hold you here. Exhale, rise back up. Take an inhale. One more. Exhale, lower back down. And again, you're just staying here. Stay calm in your mind. Even though your body is very active, it's working, it's staying very engaged in this process, you're just being present and being simple and focused on the task at hand. Exhale to rise. Inhale to hold. Exhale, knees drop to the floor, the forearms lower. Inhale, sweep forward to upward facing dog. And exhale, roll right back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up, set the right foot forward to the outside of the right hand. Hop up onto the fingertips, give the palms a break. Sway some space forwards and backwards into the hips. Really reaching the chest out, creating a little bit more length through the lower back. Beautiful, press into the hands. Step the right foot back to plank pose. Press into the left hand, lower to the outer edge of the left foot and reach the right hand up to the sky. So we're doing a lot of repetitive poses here. Visiting your plank, visiting your chaturanga, visiting your side plank quite actively because we want to create this repetitive pattern of effort to help build the strength in our arms, to help build that endurance to hold these poses for a longer period of time. See if you can just be here for five, four, three, two. Really nice work, and one. Right hand to the floor. If you want to skip the low chaturanga this time, of course you can. If not, lower down and hold it for five, four, three, two, and one, the exhale will take you up. Inhale, hold up top, drop the knees as you exhale, drop the forearms, and then inhale, sweep forward to upward facing dog, and exhale, roll your way back to the downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up, the left foot forward to the outside of the left hand, hop up onto those fingertips, reach the chest out, and again, you're swaying space into the hips. All right, you're getting a little bit lighter on the palms here, be light on the fingertips. You're doing a good amount of effort already in the hands. We're just warming up the hips for a light moment here. Really nice work, bring the palms flat to the floor, press in to the right hand, reach the left leg back to find the plank, and then go to the side plank on the right side, reaching the left hand up to the sky. 
See how active you can get in the inside of the right hand. See how much you can reach the right index finger forward. See what you can find the grounding in the outer edge of the right foot. Find a connection in that arch to the bottom side of your side body, right? So like the, all the right side waist. So you really want to feel that waking up. You want to feel the outside of the right leg waking up. You want to feel the right palm waking up. And you're tracing those parts of the body with your mind. Allow yourself to find presence through your effort. On the exhale, bring your left hand to the floor. Again, option to skip the vinyasa or take it, but remember on the chaturanga, we're holding it for five, four, three, two, one. The exhale will take us up to plank. Inhale, we hold up top. Exhale, drop the knees, drop the forearms. Inhale, sweep forward to the upward facing dog. And exhale, you roll your way back to the downward facing dog. Slowly walk the hands back towards the feet, rise up onto the toe spine, share pose on the toes. Reach the arms up to the sky, really feel every toe gripping the floor, holding you in place, channeling the legs to wake up here, allowing the arms a little bit of rest, but you're still staying in the effort of the practice, remembering to breathe, remembering to find calm in your efforts. Move into crow pose or crow pose preparation. So even if your feet never leave the floor here, have the knees on the backs of the triceps, bend the elbows and just lean forward into the hands. If your feet do lift, lean forward, float the feet, and try and hold it here for just 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Set the feet on the floor. Find your squat for just a moment. Lifting the chest up. Beautiful work so far. We're gonna keep going up the mat. So again, if you're just working your crow pose preparations, perfect. If you're going to take another round of crow, we're gonna do it again for another 15 count or so. If you would like, you could bring the left knee over to the right arm this time. Set the hands, knees nice and high, onto the backs of the triceps. Bend the elbow, elbows, look out, lean out, float the feet, bring the left knee over to the right side, and hold for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Set the feet back down for the squat. Elevating the chest, lifting the heart up to the sky. Taking a moment, finding your strength or allowing the life force to enter your body so you can refine your strength in case you lost it. Remember, this practice is very challenging. It'll take persistence, it'll take coming to your mat often to get through it. It's also, no matter how long you've been practicing, you're gonna find a good amount of work here. So don't get discouraged, just be part of the experience with as little judgment of yourself as possible. Begin to strip away that conditioning, those thoughts of failure. If you want the crow again, we're going to take it this time with the right knee over on the left arm. Place the palms flat. Knees to backs of triceps if you're just staying with the basic variation or the beginning variation with the feet on the floor. Lean out, float the feet, right knee over to the left side for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and on 1. Those feet are right back to the floor. Really nice job. Get long through the lower back, reach through the crown of the head. Take a moment here. And then to finish everything off for the effort side of this practice, drop those forearms down to the floor. No need to pause. Find your forearm plank. Really ground into the forearms. Have a good amount of pressure in the palms. And so what we're going to do here is we're gonna sweep from this forearm plank into a side plank on the left side and then, a, and then lower back down to the forearms and then lift up side plank on the right side. We're gonna go for 10 total times. You may wanna watch the video a time or two to kind of get the gist of the movement before you begin it first. But trust me, you can do it with a little bit of practice. You just have to stick with it. So again, the feet are down. You're very active in the feet, active in the arms. Sweep forward right onto the left arm, reach the right hand up to the sky. 
Nice, that's one. Lower down to the forearms. Sweep up, right side, two. Left hand down, lower, sweep up. Left side, three. Lower down to the forearms, sweep up. Right side, four. Lower down, sweep up. Left side, five. Lower down, sweep up. Right side, six. Lower down, sweep up. You can bring the left knee in if you want. Left side, seven. Dropping down, sweeping up. Right side, eight. Lower down, sweep up. Left side, nine. Lower down, sweep up. Right side, 10. We'll do a few more. Lower down, sweep up. Left side, 11. Lower down, sweep up. Right side, 12. Lower down, sweep up. 13. Lower down, sweep up. 14. Lower down, sweep up. 15. Lower down, sweep up. 16. Lower down and hold. Breathing here, anything. All that action in the arms are probably on fire right now. You're probably like, why the heck am I doing this? Don't worry about it. Just breathe and stay with it. You're almost done with the work. Stay connected to your own nature, to your own willingness to put in this effort into understanding yourself and to understanding the limits you can push yourself to and understanding why you want to be on that path in the first place. Try and be here for just 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The knees come to the floor. Thank goodness. Sit back on the feet. Find the hands behind the back. Chase the ground behind you. Move away from all of that work in the arms. Oh my goodness. Rolling out the shoulders here feels really nice. Switch the grip so the left thumb or the right thumb is on top. Just changing up whatever your natural hand position is there. Find your way onto your chest for just a moment. Open up your arms like a T. Of course, releasing the bind first. Rolling onto the right side, just stretching the right side for a few breaths. And then switching to the left side. Should feel a really nice relief from all the work we've been doing. Sweep back to the middle. And press back to your child's pose. Thank you so much for taking the time to practice with me today. That was definitely a tough challenge on the arms. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to come back to this video when you're looking for that kind of challenge in your practice. You could add it in a few times a week. It would be a nice stimulation for the body and kind of a different way to practice than you normally do. Even Yokai agrees. <laughs> Remember to check back with us on Tuesday for new yoga videos from myself and Carling. Food videos are every Wednesday. You do not want to be in this video right now, do you? But video vlogs featuring this monster come out on Thursdays quite frequently. So I hope to see you soon, whether it's on one of these classes or in person at one of our workshops. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.